Jamal Nayaz here with Molly McCann. We're in enemy territory, aren't we? We're in enemy territory ahead of the derby on Saturday. But you're having a great time. How does it feel to be a, such a, a massive boxer event with a lot of your friends on the card? Yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. Do you know, uh, Ben's invited. Do you want me to that, lad? Oh, have you got it? Uh, Ben's invited me down. He's going to take. He's going to help us spread the word of weapons down, gloves up. He's going to promote um, getting the kids off the streets, getting them in the boxing gym, giving them full time jobs, everything that I'm involved with. So. He's invited me down and obviously I'd always be down to support my boxing teammates. But um, yeah, bittersweet we're in here, mate. <laughs> when you talk about that um, weapons down, gloves up, really emotional time for the city. It's a tough time for the city. And Fraser mentioned it himself. He's been a victim of uh, knife crime himself. Um, just talk about what that experience has been like for yourself. And you've been at the forefront of pushing that message out and, and spreading awareness of the help that's available from, from, from both sides of the city. Yeah, I think... Look, most of us in fighting have grew up in unfortunate circumstances and everyone's had that that moment where they can go one or the other way and I was really lucky that boxing saved me and that MMA, and then moving on to MMA saved me quite a lot also. But um, the opportunities are there for the kids. Um, people sometimes just need to hear about it and to be honest, it's absolutely heartbreaking, everything that's going on at the minute and... I'm literally just trying to use my platform the best way that I can. Um, I like to, to laugh and joke. You, you've seen me at my post-fight interviews. I like a bevy. I like to like to just have a good time. But this is serious, and things need to change. And I'm just I'm very fortunate that Boxer and Sky are going to help us spread the message, and and hopefully we're going to be able to save some lives. You know. Yeah, you and you and Paddy are an absolute credit to the city and, and what you're doing. You know, inside the octagon and outside really emotional night at UFC London for you both as well just seeing well, we had a chat briefly at the press conference afterwards just seeing your stars rise together how, how amazing has that been because I remember coming to the gym back in 2020 after the 2019 sorry after your first fight in the UFC which was a tough experience you bounced back and have become a superstar within your own right what what has that experience been like for yourself on upon reflection I mean, it's man mentally. We was just looking at the date. It's September first. This time last year, I'd lost two on the bounce, and I was told basically that's it. Fast forward a year, a lot, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of self belief, a lot of working on myself, and look at look at us now. You know, um, I hope less for myself about thinking I'm proud of myself, and that I hope people, everyday people who are going through a struggle in life and just feel like they're getting nowhere can somewhat take something from. My journey and pa Patrick's journey, you know, there was a point where he'd lost fights, he'd had injuries, it wasn't looking like he was ever going to come back. And here we are, doing everything we can to, to cross the genres, to get boxers, get football fans involved with MMA, and I think we're doing that. I think general public like what we're doing, and I'll always give back to what what made me who I am, and that's boxing, that's the, the square, the four ropes. I absolutely live for the boxing still, so... Um, it's magic, it's magic, it's, it's mental. Uh, sometimes you don't believe it, sometimes there's a bit of imposter syndrome because I can't quite get me around how people now act around me because I'm, I'm always me. There'll be no change in that, I will not change. And I get, I get trolled terrible for it for just being who I am, but I also get loved for it. But there's no compromise in what me and Patrick and what our scousers do. Then, obviously, MSG next up for yourself. Liam Smith's just had that experience and he said... That was incredible, yeah. You was there for the Katie Taylor fight. You couldn't have even... Could you have envisioned that? You was like, yeah, that's that, my, my fight after UFC London. I'm, I'm having that one. I asked for it, didn't I? Did I ask for it in the press conference? MSG, yeah, yeah I think I asked for it, yeah. Um, both you and Paddy on it. Yeah, Paddy didn't want, Paddy didn't want it because of the tax. Yeah. Um, Beefy's coach is mine. Coaches, Declan and, and uh, Joseph, they've coached me for the last four years. Joseph's now been in my corner for the last two fights. And this is my dream. I come from boxing, the mecca of boxing is New York. So I'm absolutely living for this moment. And I think you would have seen a different me. The, the last few fights I've had less time out. Um, I've kept my head down. I haven't gone missing in the gym. And um, I'm starting to hit my peak. I'm starting to hit... Mentally, my knowledge now is as much as everyone else. I've learned all, learned all my lessons, and I will just get to go in there with the self belief to go and do. A year ago, no one would have ever thought I could even go on a title contention run. And I know it's still early, but 
I'm not that far. I'm, I'm, I'm a, the wind, you're right there. Yeah, right there. I'm right there. So, not looking a bit ahead from my next fight. It's the toughest of my life. Stylistically, I can knock her out. Stylistically, she can take me down, and or she can hold me against the cage because that's her, her forte and what she looks to do. But I'm a little bit of a different entity now. Hold me against the wall, no, no problem. I'll just get back and I'll, I'll just elbow you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll knock you out and um, take me down. I get straight back up and come again. Um, like I say, I've learnt my lessons. This is the toughest fight I've ever come up against, and I'm fucking ready. Two other fights on that card, the main event, Adesanya Pereira, and I know it's not been confirmed, Chandler Poirier, but it looks I like it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. It looks near enough like it's done. What yeah. do you make of them two? Um, absolutely buzzing. Izzy was Instagramming me, sending me a few messages. He said, let's blow the roof off the joint. I went, lad, we're blowing the roof off the gaff. And he was like, OK, meatball. Um, I've seen... I've met, I've met Michael Chandler after my last fight, and um, he's a cool dude. Dustin Poirier does a lot for his community, he's, he's a little gangster isn't he, so I'll be really excited to fight and then I'll be excited to watch the rest of the main card, um, I'll have a Guinness in New York, I won't be on the whiskey this time but I'll have a Guinness and then I'll be ready. I saw Paddy got his watch, did you get yours, has yours come through yet? Yeah, Patrick, Patrick's got my watch, so um, when he brings it back, I'm counting down the days for you to get home lad, but um, yeah, he's bring mine back and... We'll save that for, for the special occasions. Because I know we briefly talked about it, but that is surreal, isn't it? Having someone like Drake endorse you and, and be a massive fan. The, rock, like, the, the rock Rocks well. give me the, the people's elbow, lads. Yeah. Um, it's mad wild. to think. It's mad to think. I've got it. To all my fans out there, have a look. I've got a top that basically says, from Norris Green to New York City. It's um, Madison Square Garden. It's, it's one hell of a ride, and it's nice to see that... the. The real of the real and the OGs of their, their own, um, what would I say, at what they do, that singers and, and rappers and that. The best of the best. The best of the best, they, they notice and what we're about now, so it's happy, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Final one as well, uh, Tasha, she could have retired straight after that fight, achieving a dream, but she's hungry just like yourself, wants to keep up in it. The thing in boxing is there's a lot of world titles, you can unify the division. Um, if she unifies it on Saturday, do you just keep telling her the message? Just keep going. Unify the whole yeah, division. She's not finishing anytime soon. She she'll probably be going until after I'm finished there. But um, yeah, look, it's one of the toughest fights she's ever come up against. Let's be honest, it's the green belt. I have 110 percent faith that she'll be bringing it back. The amount of tickets she sold. She's got that notoriety now. She's got the respect. She's got the belt which she deserves, and she gets to come home walk out, show her daughter that she can t sell all these tickets, show little girls, shows me, I'm capable of doing it after this, she's the trailblazer, she's opened the door for us all, and I'm one of the, the products that's been able to reap rewards from what, what she's done and the service she's paid. Brilliant, I really appreciate your time Molly, and uh, respect for everything you're doing in the city. Thank you. Sorry.